Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video today and today we're going to go out and do the lobster pots guys. I've got four, four lobster pots and two spider pots guys So, and we're pulling them by hand. So it's going to be hard work. But yeah, so I haven't got many pots, it might not be a very long video but we're going to give it a go and hopefully get some cray, uh, crayfish, some lobsters and some uh, shit shellfish guys. So yeah, we're going to get the gear on, we're going to get the boat untied, get the motor down and start making them out there guys. Get you back in the bed. Right, that's the gear on. Let's get the motor down, guys. Get these ropes untied. Let's get out there. <laughs> Dogfish from the previous video. Maybe a Johnny had. It's stinking, guys, because I didn't have any salt for it. It's just been in the top like that. Smelly bait. Right, that's the bait car, guys. Let's get on out there. still to be honest there's not a lot of depth underneath us this is only a single this one yeah it's that shallow I can see the seaweed underneath us almost touching from the boat because it's full of crap. Hey, oh, yeah, it's a keep the lobster in that one, guys. For sure. There's no need to be gauging that bad boy. Look at that. Lovely lobster, that. Whew. Been a long time since I pulled a pot by hand. That makes it worth it, though, guys. That's a nice lobster. And they're just a small spider crab, guys. Nothing exciting. Oh, yeah, That's 
some mackerel here as well. Shout out to the glorious fishing for the old mackerel. You get this baited up, guys, and we'll get it back out. Put airs on the chest pulling that by end, guys. First pot done now, and our first lobster. Let's get on to these uh, ink wells, guys. Like I say I've got to keep an eye on the bottom here. Small spider crab. Small spider crab there. Got a small spider crab there, guys. Small brown edible crab. There. Another one in there, but he won't let go. That's got loads of bait in there. These are what we call traps guys, when the crab goes in, obviously you can see it opens up and it closes, so that's in there like that, crabs go in, they can't get back out guys, it's supposed to be anyway. It's called a crab trap, this one guys, small brown crab, small, small spider, Another small spider there. And that's it for that pot guys. Nothing else. Again, chuck a little bit of mackerel in. It's heavily baited. But the wind's turning, we're not gonna get out so easy. Right, let's have bait it back up guys. Let's get these out. Some would be better than none.
Jump to the Loads of lobsters in that one guys Must be my lucky day. There's about one, two, three, three lobsters in there, one in there, and they all look sized. Let's get a gauge out, let's have a look, guys. Alright, so the first pot, guys, by the crab, another one, another spider, and another spider there, guys. Got another lob lobster there, guys. You don't need gauging, not at all. Right, he's a keeper. That's that pot. Second pot, guys. We've got a little lobster there. I think he's going to be too small. Yeah, he's under, guys, but I'm going to keep him for a minute so I can get a little clip of them all for my uh, thumbnail, guys. Second lobster though, he don't need gauging. Look at him. Well in, he's a beauty that one. And then we got that one guys, another beautiful lobster there. Like I say, there's no need to size these, these are well over. I'll show you anyway. But look at that. Well in size guys. Crack and flip already. One, two, three. We've got a spider there, he's a keeper but I'm not going to keep him. Another lo uh, spider there. And I didn't even see that one guys in the back of the pot there, look. Another little one. Again, he'd go back but I want to get a little, little photo of him guys. And then we've got the last pot, which is just full of spider crabs. One spider crab. Two spider crab, three, four spider crabs, velvet swimming crab as we call them, lady crabs, very feisty little things, one of them, shanker, another shanker there mate, and another little spider crab guys, so, get these, a bit more bait in these, a bit more bait and these, we're getting back out, guys. What a cracking trip! Woohoo! Six pots! Well happy, guys. Right, let's get some bait and these and get them out. These are going back where they came from, guys, that's for sure. Right, that's that. That's them out, guys. Put 
quick get a glimpse of them lobsters. Well guys, just so you can see, two small ones, one, two, they've gone back. We've got three keepers guys, so let's make our way in, get back to the mooring, band these up and get home for a copper. Keepers, four keepers on the first trip out, guys. I'm well happy with that. It's a good start. Ban these lobsters, guys. Put the claw between your leg, like so. Get the other one. Get your band. Go on. Round. These bands have gone a bit brittle. Hopefully they'll be alright. That's one claw banded. Same level, never hold them by their claw, don't let them hang. They will drop their claw if they feel threatened. That one round there like that. Same again with that one. And there you go. One lobster banded. That's one. Same again. In your leg. Like so. You have a claw, band, round, round, round. Same again with that one. Get, get the claw, close it up. See that little part here? You want to get the band behind there and it helps it to stop pulling off. So again, on there, right back over it like I've done. Close it down, twist. Make sure that goes right down there. I might only, I might have to put two bands on that one. The reason I'm putting two is because it hasn't quite tightened. I can't get another turn on it. The bands ain't very big. There we have it guys, another one banded. I'm gonna band the others and then I'll give you a glimpse of these and then that's it guys, we'll give the boat down a wash and uh, go from there guys. Happy days. Well guys, just for coming along again, that was a good trip out, that, a real good trip out. To say it's my first one out again on this boat, first time pulling the pots on this boat, and we've ended up with four keepers, and what do we chop back? Two more. So six lobsters, six pots guys, four to keep, happy days. There was three keepers I think in one pot, I think there was. Um, so yeah, I'm well happy with that guys, but it might have even been two. But I just want to shout out to everyone who watched my last video with the nine month pulling the pots for not not, not pulling the pots for nine months, sorry. That went wild. It's nearly up to 5,000 already. I think it's been up for three days. That video and the one before that, I reckon I've gained 50, 60 subscribers, guys. So a massive, massive shout out to all of you that's recently subscribed. Massive shout out to all my old subscribers. And a massive shout out to everybody who's been watching the channel guys please like the video please share to all your social media and subscribe guys if you're new if you like what you see there'll be plenty more hopefully i'm going to be sorting out a wince soon guys so hopefully we'll be not pulling them by hand and pulling them by wince so again guys thanks for joining i'm off i'm going for a cup of coffee see you next time guys take it easy cheerio